5. Important steps to forgive your mother. Hi, I'm Elena. I'm a psychologist and a life coach. For many years, I personally had conflicting feelings about my mom. I truly and deeply loved my mom, but at the same time, I had grudges towards her. I blamed my mom for not being supportive. I blamed her for being childish. In my childhood, I blamed her for not letting me talk to my father. My mom had never forbidden me to see my dad, but I just knew that I was not allowed to say his name or even say the word father if my mom was around. I knew that talking about my dad, telling her that I miss him, would upset my mom. And I did not want to be the reason for my mom's sadness. One day I came from school crying. I always hide my tears, but that day I was so upset that I could not hide my emotions. So my mom asked me what's wrong, and I said that I wanted to be left alone. And my mom did exactly as I asked. She did not ask me about anything that evening, or the day after, or any time in the future. She just acted as though nothing happened. In reality, I wanted my mom to come and talk to me. Because I was not used to telling my mom about my problems, I said that I wanted her to left me alone. But in reality, I was desperate for her love and support. I hoped that she would ask me again and find a way how to connect with me. But unfortunately, she never did. One of the initial reasons that I decided to be a psychologist was that I wanted to solve my own issues. After years in therapy and hundreds of self-development workshops, I was able to acknowledge that I have held huge resentments towards my mom, even if though I deeply loved her. So today I want to share with you five steps on how to forgive your mother. At the end of this video, I will tell you how to use these steps correctly because listening to this video and learning about these steps are good, but you need to know how to implement them in your life so you can truly forgive your mother. Before we start, my name is Elena Semenek. I am a psychologist and a life coach, and this is my YouTube channel, Psychology of Happiness. Welcome! On this channel, I help you to boost your self-confidence, to overcome your fears, and to create loving, profound relationships. My mission is to guide you to be happy. So every week I release a new video about self-esteem, relationships, healthy boundaries, and all other essential topics that will help you to manifest your dreams and to enjoy your life. So subscribe to my channel and you won't miss my next video on another important topic. Okay, let's talk about five steps on how to forgive your mother. And the first step is understand that you can't change your past. Replaying in your head memories from your past over and over again won't change your past. By rethinking about Things that your mom did or did not do will only put you in prison of this detrimental circle destroying you from the inside. Just accept your past. Accepting means tell yourself, yes, this is my mom. For example, in my situation, I can say, my mom is not as loving as I want her to be. Not as wise as I want her to be. Not as sympathetic as I wish her to be. My mom is a person with a low self-esteem who placed her fears and her anxieties on my shoulders and failed to provide a safe place for me to grow. Maybe your mom is egocentric and narcissistic. Then tell yourself, yes, my mom only loves herself. She tells everyone about my achievements not because she is proud of me, but because she wants everyone to know that she is a great mother, that she is the one who raised such a talented child. 
My mom uses her accomplishment for her own glory. Accepting your mom means that you accept all the pain that she caused you. Accepting your mom means that you accept the idea that she will never be the mom that you wanted and needed. She will never be loving, caring, and supportive enough. She is who she is. This is your mom, and you will not have another one. Accepting your mom also means that no matter how bad she might be, she is still your mom, and deep inside, you truly love her. Before talking about the second step on how to forgive your mother, I would like to invite you to my online happiness club that I created for people just like you who want to become a confident person, create healthy boundaries, overcome their insecurities and create loving, profound relationships in their lives. Become a member of my happiness club today and receive instant unlimited access to my entire healing database that includes guided meditation, self-development webinars, life coaching techniques, breathing exercises, art therapy, energy work, and my personal support. I offer live sessions for my members where I answer their questions free of cost. In my happiness club, you can also enroll into three online courses. One, healing your inner child, two, overcoming emotional eating, and three, program yourself for success. Visit elenasemenek.com slash happiness. Okay, let's get back to the topic. Five important steps to forgive your mother. Step number two, admit that whatever she did, she did not mean to hurt you. Maybe she did it because she was young. Maybe because she was not aware of the consequences. Maybe it was the way your mom was raised. Or maybe her childhood caused her to be cold and emotionally unavailable. There are a million reasons why she was not an ideal mother. But I want you to admit that she did not do it on purpose. She did not do it on purpose to hurt you. She probably thought that she was doing the right thing. Maybe she was teaching you a lesson. I know a mother who read a book about children's psychology. And that book says that when a toddler does not want to go to bed, the best way to discipline them is to lock them in their room with lights off and let them to cry. The book says that if you continue doing it for a few days, your child will learn his bedtime routine. A mother came to me carrying a huge burden of guilt. She told me that that time when she left her child in the room, she felt terrible. Her heart was screaming hearing her baby cry, but she thought that she was doing the right thing. Another example, a mother might be quiet and not protecting her child from a violent husband, because she herself feels paralyzed when she sees his anger. I am not defending your mother's actions. She did what she did, and what she did might be wrong, immoral, and ruthless. But in 99.9% .9 of the time, she did not mean to hurt you. It's her burden to care. I don't want you to justify her behavior. And I don't want you to feel pity for her. I want you to do just one thing. Admit that what she did or did not do was not intended to hurt you. If you like this video so far, please give me a like. Let me know in the comments what do you feel when I say that you need to admit that your mom did not do it on purpose to hurt you. For some people, this step, number two, might be the hardest. And by sharing your feelings, by typing your questions and comments, you can release some of the burden that you might be carrying for years. I'm here to listen and to support you. Okay, let's move on. Step number three on how to forgive your mother is to differentiate the things that you cannot change 
and find the courage to change the things that you can change, just like in the Bible. And even if you don't believe in God, step number three is still necessary to release yourself from the heavy feelings that you might be carrying inside for years. I will repeat it. Step number three is to differentiate the things that you cannot change from the things that you can change. In the first step, we spoke uh, about how you cannot change the past. In fact, that you cannot change your past, you cannot change your mother. She is who she is. She probably does not even realize how much she hurt you. When I decided to talk to my mom about my childhood, she took it as criticism and was extremely protective. She was telling me how hard it was for her and that I was not being appreciated. The truth is you can never fully understand your mom. You did not live in her time. You did not know how she felt and what was happening in her life when she raised you. We have a selective memory. Unfortunately, we can remember more vividly bad things, things that hurt us, and the good things that our mother did for us might become insignificant. Our brain can ignore them completely. So imagine a child who is five years old, let's say a girl, who is asking her mommy why she and her daddy are always fighting. And now imagine that you are the mother of this girl. You are not going to tell your child all the details about your complicated relationships with your husband. You might give her some reasons, and probably they would be the most trivial reasons. A child cannot truly comprehend adults' problem. Therefore, we can truly understand our mothers, what they did when we, they were raising us. And we don't need to. We just need to understand that there were things in the past that we cannot change. And there are things in our present about our mothers that we cannot change either. But there are also things that we can change. And we can make the decision to focus on our own lives and pursue our own happiness. So, instead of facing the ghosts from your past, focus on being happy in your present. Live your life, follow your dreams and have fun. I know it might sound easy, but it is not, but it's possible. Check the links below the video. I'd like to share with you some guided meditations, free of cost, and these guided meditations will help you to fill out the void in your heart and help you to move on with your own life. I would like to share some exercises with you, some exercises that actually helped me on my journey to forgiving my mom. And I'm going to share them with you free of cost today. All the links are in the video description. Okay, let's move on. Step number four on how to forgive your mother is to tell yourself that you are enough and you are worthy of love. You deserve to be happy. The idea of self-perception that I'm not worthy or I'm not good enough came from our mothers. If you did not receive enough love from your mother, then automatically you will have some resentment towards her. If your mother did not support you and did not protect you in your childhood, then you carry some resentment and pain inside of you. Let me tell you the secret. You are still craving for your mother's love. Unfortunately, the time when she was supposed to provide this type of love is gone. You are not a child anymore. Without being aware, many people demand this type of unconditional love from their spouses, from their partners, from their best friends, from their kids, and often from their pets. All these people, including our lovely animals, cannot fulfill our emptiness inside. There are only one person who can do it, and this person, not your mom, this person is you. Once you accept yourself, accept your own flaws, your own imperfection, once you stop criticizing yourself, 
but instead appreciate and love yourself and everything you do you see yourself as a wonderful gentle and beautiful human being so allow yourself to fall in love with yourself then you can allow your mom to be who she is to let go of your past and find the harmony within again in my happiness club members can enroll into my online course entitled healing your inner child in this course i teach you how to connect with your inner child how to recognize your true needs and how to protect your child and love your child unconditionally so whoever wants to heal their inner child check out the links below the video and finally step number five how to forgive your mother is to take responsibility for your own happiness yes our mothers played a huge role in our development of our self-esteem the way your mom made you feel in your childhood placed a huge impact on your current feelings of security the ability to trust other people the ability to commit in romantic relationships has its roots in our mother-child relationship. Even such thing as the ability to overcome stress, uh, fears, insecurities, and anxieties are coming from our mothers. If you have an anxious and emotionally unhinged mother, you automatically develop the idea uh, that this world is a dangerous place and you have to be alert 24-7. The feeling that you are worthy of good things, like I am worthy of being loved, I am worthy of being happy, I am worthy of being financially successful, also comes from our mother-child relationship. But you cannot change your past and you cannot change your mother. So the step number five, how to forgive your mother, is to become responsible for your own happiness. And it won't happen overnight. It will take some time. I'm sorry, but it will take some effort. But the most important step here is your decision to not give up on yourself. No one, not your mother, not your partner, not your kids, not your best friend can do it for you. You need to do the work. And I'm here to guide you and to provide a safe place for you to heal yourself and to become happy and enjoy your life. If you want to learn how you can have the life to be proud of, then I'm inviting you to join my online happiness club. I have a special offer for you that you can use within the next three days. Check the links below the video and the offer is already waiting for you. Do it now. If you like this video, please give me a like and share it with your friends and family. Subscribe to my channel Psychology of Happiness and I will see you in my next important video. Bye!